Right guys, Mr. Nasty Blast here. I've got a very interesting video. Uh, it's just a quick uh, tutorial um, and guide how to have fun with the uh, Bayonet. Uh, all the games I play, uh, Battlefield, uh, Call of Duty, all the ones that's got the Bayonet, I really enjoy playing with it. Um, apart from Modern Warfare, because the um, the Bayonets and Modern Warfare, it doesn't really charge. Um, on World War II, Call of Duty and uh, Vanguard, it charged properly. It kind of sprints towards the enemy. Uh, which the um, Bayonets on uh, Modern Warfare doesn't. Anyways, uh, let's go to the, um, to the uh, little uh, tutorial here. That's how I do it. And I find it very efficient. Okay. Uh, uh, first of all, if you guys have the, um, I think the STG will be best um, to be set up with the uh, bayonet. Uh, the reason is that it's got uh, a good speed already. So what we wanna do is um, get uh, your weapon with the max speed possible. Doesn't matter accuracy, doesn't matter anything else. Just a speed. The reason is that you're gonna sprint faster, and the uh, well, uh, well, basically you have a greater speed. So that's uh, you can find the bayonet uh, under the uh, uh, under the uh, under barrel here. There he is the bayonet. So you can attach the bayonet whenever you earn it. I think it is on the 58 weapon level, if I'm not wrong. 58, uh, that's why it is. So every rifle you can attach uh, the bayonet as far as I know. As well as the, uh, let me go there. Uh, as well as the um, uh, marksman rifles as well. So uh, all of them you can attach the, the bayonet. So let's go back to the uh, SDG. Okay, so uh, that's my setup. Okay, very important here is the uh, well. I, I use focus on the uh, on the uh, proficiency. Uh, very important on the kit. You put reach, increase uh, melee range. That's because uh, uh, the the bayonets you'll be a gr uh, you have a greater range to uh, to reach the enemy and get a kill. Um, let me just get the uh, camera off for a minute. Okay, uh, that's the uh, stock. I put uh, no stock. The reason is that you make your your weapon faster. If you see there on the speed, right uh, on the speed here. If you take a look here, that's the one that gives more speed to the weapon. Uh, optical, uh, whatever, because uh, you're not looking to aim, you're looking to uh, to stab the enemy. Barrel, uh, these uh, the top one, VDD uh, 320 mm. It will give um, a greater speed to the weapon as well. A stabilizer, uh, I used the uh, whatever, whatever. Sorry, uh, whatever stabilizer because uh, it doesn't give any speed here. And let's you shoot. We're using the bayonet in this case. Um, right, under barrel, uh, there's a bayonet there. You attach it. Uh, magazine, I get. Uh, I selected the top one. The reason is why. If you see here, it gives a greater speed. It's the one that gives more speed to the weapon. Uh, rear grip, uh, again, doesn't matter because uh, it doesn't change anything for the bayonet. Uh, ammo doesn't really matter again because uh, it doesn't increase any speed uh, on the weapon. Um, uh, therefore, not the bayonet. Right, guys, we are all set up. There's the setup. So the critical ones is the reach, focus. Let's end the bayonet here, obviously. Whatever gives a lot of speed here to your weapon, you want to use it. Now let's go to the um, a perk selection. A dauntless uh, immune to movement reduce effects as you want to run and be quick to stab the enemy a dauntless so you don't want to be uh, slowed down by the enemy uh, by shots and things like that so dauntless will be the best I haven't tried uh, serpentine yet but um, 
I want to, I want to. I haven't unlocked yet, it says. Unlocked a random level, so uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I want to try it. Uh, the second one, you can either use Tracker, or whichever you, f you think it uh, fits you best. Tracker, I use the Raider because I want to see the enemy in a wide range on the map. Uh, double Tap, I use. I used as well Lightweight because it increases movement speed, but Double Tap... Uh, gives you a good uh, a good support to reach the enemy because you can sprint uh, for longer distances without getting tired so uh, double tap or lightweight is up to you I prefer double tap right so guys now I'll just play uh, um, uh, a few streaks I've done with the uh, <laughs> with the uh, I'm laughing already because at the lobby yesterday the guys were going crazy with my uh, with my bayonet stabbing they were going mad lots of raging uh, it was very funny not 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 who's been uh, obliterated by it but whoever is using it so <laughs> you're so much fun all right so I'll play um, I'll play a video now with all the streaks. Um, I had last night having fun with the bayonet STG44. Again, you can use the um, the bayonet. Uh, you can attach the bayonet in any. I, I want to try the Garrow next, but you can attach them on the uh, assault rifles and the marksman rifles. So I want to uh, M M1 Garand. Uh, I have to. Uh, I haven't run tap with it yet, but I really want to play. Uh, with the Garand and the Bayonet attached to it. So it's so much fun. Uh, you guys should try. And please let me know in the comments what you think about uh, about my setup. If you think it's rubbish, no problem. I take I take opinions. Leave your comment there. If you think it's good, you're having fun, please let me know. Right, guys. So I just play um, a few streaks I had last night with the Bayonet. Ee hoo! Dogs! Yeah. What's next? Yeah, two one. You. <laughs> <laughs> 